Oh yeah, my goodness gracious, all those great balls of fire. <laughs> Scary Halloween session. Get on it, Paje. Yeah, I'm scared Pick now. Get up right oh, now. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, uh, your insides <laughs> become outsides, and you all have to live with that. Shit. <laughs> I hate it here. Well, Jokes on you. I'm into that shit. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> Are you? Uh -oh. oh no. Ah, my inside out wings. Ah. Good yeah, one. it's not great. Sounds flesh pretty, wings. Sounds uncomfortable. Mm, flesh wings. Flesh wings, huh? Mmm, tasty flesh wings. Buffalo wild wings, let's go. Mm, no beasts. No, no. Blazing challenge, anyone? Set self on fire. <laughs> Jackpot. Last okay. Time. Last time, you all went and... Well, you beat Tori's dad, so Tori's dad is dead. And, well, now uh, Tori is in charge of the village. And you spent a couple, a week or so, a week and more, kind of getting settled and settling some business. And just kind of getting, figure what the fuck you're going to do next. A while, you all had some little talks with each other here and there. Uh, you learned that the neighboring country had invaded Changsha and has now basically all but conquered it by taking the capital. You learned that uh, later you learned that Alden, the Empress, and uh, AG. Uh, AG, fuck. <laughs> AG all got away through because Alden teleported them out as he said he would if things got bad, which they did. Uh, but you weren't there, so you don't know exactly what happened. Uh, but y'all were discussing what to do next when you tried to scry on where uh, the Empress was, I believe it was. Yes. Yes. And then it turned out, oh, wait, she's up in the last tower's HQ. And the master of the last tower uh, detected that and was like, hmm, that seemed bad. I should look into that. And then he did. And then he was in your room. It's pretty scary. Mm hmm. He's and then he met Natul, who is a fully covered masked man in blue robes, who has a mask with, or helmet, I guess, because you can't see any of his head, uh, with four eyes, glowing red eyes. And he informed you of where your friend is, what happened to the Empress, and offered you to take you to the last tower, given all the shit that's happened. And also helped Lyle cure his infection a little. Dialed me back from a three to a one. That's pretty cool. That's nice right. Mm -hmm. I think that's all that basically happened. And then you teleported. I wasn't doing anything suspicious. Yep. Pretty and, uh, sus that this guy's wearing a mask from head to toe. You think he's another Oni, or is he just really ugly? Um, yeah. I'm rude that you I, immediately jump to that he's ugly. I think there's like he's definitely He's got he's like two dwarves in a Franken trench coat. He just wanted to know. <laughs> wow. Yeah, totally. Wow. wow. <laughs> I think he's gonna left... life. That's fucked up. Oh shit. But possibly. Who knows? Fuck. Who knows? No, I'm scared. No, his wife is in his pocket, remember? Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's not dark. Okay, it's so, fine. So, yeah, we left with him to go to the Order of the Last Towers headquarters finally and left Yasuo in charge. Correct. We did. We gotta find and a way to well, save the princess and stop uh, Emperor California rule. Well, the, the, Empress, is, the Empress is fine. Technically. Not fine it enough. Your... Her kingdom's not. She's on the run. Well, she, could, she could be doing well, better. Well. We'll see. We'll see what happens. She's okay. fine. See, Everybody's see fine. Schmucks can do anything about that. 
I'm skeptical. Well, I guess we'll see. If you wanted us to, you'd let us. Yeah, I know. You think I want you to? I mean. You think I'm your friend? I'm not. Beating uh -oh. up her she did nothing. I'm not here to be your friend. I'm here to watch all you could die. Well, hey. please don't do that. I'll cry. Cry. Cry right now. <laughs> on command. Oh my god. Not so good enough. So soft. Not, <laughs> good, not en good enough. <laughs> not good enough. Do better. You guys help. I am unimpressed. I am uh, putting your tokens. So I have a picture to give you the vibe of where the fuck you are, but I don't have a map necessarily because this place is big and it was a lot of would be a lot, but I have a general idea of how this is laid out. So we're gonna, you're gonna, be, okay. you're gonna have to tell me what you do and where you go and who you see and all that. It's okay. Well, pre so, presumably we're talking to him. It's a throwback oh, yes. to when we were at the brothel. Yes. So, you are. He gets you all ready. He does a countdown, but then I think he cut down the, the did the countdown really fast or cut it short and did it immediately. Uh, I don't remember which we did, but did one of those and you teleported and you were displaced for like a few seconds as you were spaghettified. Spaghettified. Oh. 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 And then you weren't. And then you were fine. This is you, a jail. You blink almost feeling yourselves like stretched and moved at high speed before you're put back together. And now you are in a circular chamber in a dark room adorned with blue metals and blue banners with the emblem of the last tower in this, this uh, circular room. Uh, there's a glyph on the floor that is fairly large. And this room appears to be and it's also enclosed, so you're inside somewhere. Uh, it's dark. It's only based by candles, effectively. Mm -hmm. But there's just enough light to see as the light of the magic circle dies down. Uh, and you are in another place. Across from you and the tool is a woman in a silver armor. It's a blue, uh, like... Oh, I had the word in my brain. Now it's gone. Ah, uh, fuck. Tabard. Cloak? No, Tabard. it's not a cloak. Not a tabard either. It's like oh. a sash, a blue sash uh, over her armor, kind of going shawl? across the front. No, no. Is, is shawl that? the word you're looking for? No, I said sash, you fucker. <laughs> God damn it. I found the word. <laughs> fuck, I found the word. Shut up. <laughs> Christ. I love shawl. She's a blue fuck. sash over her armor she has short almost whitish hair and slightly pointy ears as she kind of stands at attention watching you all with kind of narrowed eyes do i have teleport sickness do i have teleport sickness if <laughs> do you have teleport sickness he's very good at this but he also probably thinks it's funny so yes you do <laughs> That just kind of scrunches up his face as he's as he arrives. Ooh, I think I, I think I like the creepy portals better. Well, this is faster, he says. Adam just shrugs. Fair enough. It's also amusing to me. Ah. I uh, I don't know if I can hold my lunch after this. What do I roll to see if I puke? Yeah. Yeah. Um. Roll two d six. If you get a, if you get a seven or up, you hold it in, but you don't feel good. Uh, Ooh. Oh no, it's oh. coming! <laughs> wait, 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 wait! This would be con right. would this be Constitution? Yes, technically, if you want to add that to it, or if you want to take the fame here. My plus, Ooh. my minus one in Constitution is not helping matters. Oh, I get a plus one to my Constitution. I barely hold it in. Do you right. hold, do you, but do you hold Lyle, it in with Lyle puking like, right next to you? It's in the back of my throat. I look. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> Lyle fails. Oh. You get a point on your ass. Hey, there's a pip. Oh, I really. Oh, I, I, I hate teleportation magic. A lot. <laughs> a lot. Most people do until they're used to it. 
And his face just kind of scrunches up a bit more, but he seems okay. I don't understand why the rest of the party isn't rolling to see if they puke. Exactly. Well, Otto doesn't have a stomach, so can't puke. I see Ed has joined, finally, so that he can roll to puke. Oh no, because Ed's just going to puke anyway. <laughs> <laughs> he's not going to roll. <laughs> he just... <laughs> He just sees you guys doing it. You sick puke. bastard! I want to roll. I want to puke anyway too. God damn it! I already rolled. No, he's like, you said you puked. He's like, oh, we puking, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, oh, just I'm just imagining puking. I'm just imagining he's standing there and he just kind of pukes <laughs> up, like standing. He doesn't even roll. <laughs> just does it. To... It's not yeah. dramatic or anything. Just kind of leans over and just like spits. No, out. just even lean over. Just <laughs> does it. <laughs> 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 I imagine he doesn't fully he, standing. He doesn't like puke a stream. He just like pukes a fucking like huge ball once. He <laughs> smack slaps the ground like. Yeah, he's gross. actually a part cat, so he's like just it's a hairball. Oh no, that's fine. It's a water balloon of puke. Just <laughs> all right. Well, if, every, if everyone's rolling, I guess you don't have to. Well, now you do. Hey, hey, now. we gotta <laughs> no. we yeah. gotta we gotta fill that meter. Come on now, puke. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> Let's see them bones. Goblin and the bird are just looking at you, weaklings. Like what? You can't handle your lunch? The tool looks amused. <laughs> oh, you can't see his face, but you get the feeling he's amused. The lady, like, standing at attention at the door, looks unamused. She's gonna come she sighs. And she, like, Adam's fine. steps back and kind of opens the door and calls out the hall. Calls for someone me, to come pleading. You're telling me that the man wearing a mask has more facial expressions than this woman? Oh, she <laughs> looks displeased. He definitely does this all the time to her. <laughs> he thinks it's funny. <laughs> Guess what spell I'm using? Is it teleport? Yeah! <laughs> okay, so after Lyle blows, blows a little bit of chunks on the floor, he's going to take a swig of his... Uh, his flask, oh and he's gonna say, hey, I uh, really don't think you should be drinking that immediately after while you pu after you puked. Well, he's gotta wash the taste out of his mouth somehow. Exactly. Hmm. Well, I was gonna kind of just ignore the advice and say, hey, uh, sorry about the floor. That's fine. It's Probably. easy enough to clean. And you do notice that this floor is made of marble and mm. is very very smooth Ooh. oh this is can this i see is... my reflection in my while i'm puking this kind of... uh, well it's kind of you nice. could if it wasn't for the vomit gotcha <laughs> Chris. you mentioned there were like sigils in the floor is it a it's like circle a circle for teleporting yeah it's a... for teleporting this room appears to be dedicated to this circle okay interesting and it's like built into the floor. It's not like the puke is washing away the chalk or whatever. No, it's built into the floor. It's okay. etched into the floor. Wait, quick question that's kind of unrelated but could be an issue yeah. later. Sure. What setting do you guys know of would disable all sounds from roll 20? Whenever you guys roll, for whatever reason, my Discord shuts off for 30 seconds. What? What? See, so yeah, when, you, when you guys roll, it makes a little whoop sound. My Discord, like, it takes over priority and my Discord audio shuts um, down. That's so I bizarre. Could, you could turn off and go to dice options and turn off enabled advanced dice. I think that lets roll, dice roll. And then there's audio video. You could... That's such a weird issue. That is interesting. Try turning off enable advanced dice. That might help. Okay. I turned it uh, somebody, I guess, roll something? Here, I'll roll a bone. Y'all! Did that... Alright, can you still oh, hear? Oh, UA pukes. Yep. <laughs> UA pukes. <laughs> hey, one. Hey, one D6. You gotta, Hold on. You gotta be two D6, gotta be fair. Okay, she's fine. She's Nailed she's it. Fine. Oh, okay, she's fine. <laughs> okay, I can, I can hear everything fine, so we're good. Okay, Alright, cool. cool. Alright, well... Uh, you're in this very nice room that's got marble pillars on, like, equidistant from each other around the room that have candles and lights on them. They're, like, it's enough illumination that you can see, but it is kind of dark. 
for those who are hard of seeing, those who are old, looks at Gazelle, might have trouble seeing. <laughs> Perfectly good, sir. I don't know. Isn't that right, Barry? That's right, yes. That's what I thought. He can talk now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Did he just talk? <laughs> oh, shit. You just blink slowly. <laughs> 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 Okay. He's been able to talk this whole time. What are you talking about? <laughs> there he leads towards the cell. Don't let them know. <laughs> <laughs> they must not know. Not oh, <laughs> us. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Well. <clears throat> well, if you are all well, if you've all released your lunch or have not, we will proceed. If you are good, are you good? Um, Adam, kind all of right. Nods. All right. Well, right, let's head to the main hall, and then we'll find some place to sit. And then he starts to lead you out through the doorway. The lady uh, opening the door for you all. As she kind of gives a slight bow to Natul as he passes, and he gives her a nod in return. Question. Yes. Is this lady hot? Yes. Okay. I'm going to walk slowly as I'm heading past her and cock an eyebrow and smile. She does not smile. <laughs> it's probably because she's she a very. Vomit. She looks very serious. I'm going to wink and then keep walking. She does not wake up back. She barely acknowledges your existence. That's okay. It's a bold move right after you puke all over her floor. <laughs> this you is true. Sexy. <laughs> That's how we roll. You like my body. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he recovers quickly. you got to give him that. Yes. All right. So Natul begins to lead you down the halls of this place. Do you realize that they're all made of fucking nice? It's nice as shit. As you walk the marble floor and the like stone walls with etchings and paintings and nice carpets, it is a very nice hallway. And you see people walking by, each with like some kind of bit of blue on them. Some have sashes, some have capes, some have tabards, whatever, over them. Some with like image of the last hour or not wide variety of people uh, from Dragonborn and elves and dwarves and all that. Just kind of walking the halls. They all give a nod to the to Natul as he passes and he gives them a nod to return. So you get some eyes as people look at you. You pass by several rooms that are look like studies or laboratories or uh, just general rooms for research and or study and other work. You pass by a uh, like looks like a sparring room where a couple of people are having a duel. Oh, are they uh, are they like wizards or are they? No, wizard they're duel? no, they have swords. They're fighting. Oh shit! You do see um, like there's a, a there's different. It's not just like wizards here. It's like there are some people who very clearly look like they're like warriors and whatnot. Some people who look like they're more martially trained as opposed to like more than magical arts. It's a wide variety here. Huh. Mm. It's it's almost like a, like a guild headquarters here. How oh, uh, kind of smirks say hey, this is looking like my kind of place. Do you think we fit in here, do they, or do they look like they could kick our asses? Are we the scrubs, or...? There's a mix of... By just looking at them, it's hard to tell, but like the, by looking at them, there's a mix of skill ranges here, you think? Some people oh. look more, like, clumsy. Some people look more, way more confident. Well, maybe you could challenge one of them to a fight before we go at them. Prove your think about it. If, uh, We're on business first, though. That's right, business first. Uh, I don't know. Am I am I feeling a little like uh, 
modest now, now that I've gone from my castle in the uh, mountains to this nice, a uh, nice fortress. Seems yes. pretty high dollar now. Oh yes, this looks like someone spent a lot of money and or time building this place. It is a very much, it's very different from where you've been recently. Whereas where it's been the wood castles with stone and whatnot and thatcheroos and some houses, some more mo like current modern homes. But this is like, this is a fucking fancy place. This is quite the place. It's a. Uh... Wow. Well, it is very old. It's been here a very long time. We've had a lot of time to commit to it. Are, is everyone here all a member of the last tower? Yes. Can I join? Well, I mean, you were recommended, so potentially. Yes. Well, I was going to kind of pit, pump his fist. That's why I brought you here as well. Alden's recommendation. Sweet. Uh, where is our where's our buddy Elden anyway? He's currently attending to the Empress and her can you, general. Can you can you tell him that I could attend to her for him? I don't think I'll do that. Maybe uh, we should all get together so that we can all be debriefed and caught up to speed. Well, I've already why do you used... want my briefs? <laughs> I have one more question before we get totally derailed. Yes. How many members of this order are there? Oh, uh, what was the last census? Uh, about a thousand. A thousand. Wow. And all warriors. That's a lot more than I thought. More, more just like this. Is this the In only headquarters? Of... This is the only headquarters. Yes. Whoa. Uh, hmm. perhaps the. Teleportation doesn't... Well... Hmm, how do I describe this? This facility extends deep underground. We are on the surface level. Well, technically it's the subsurface, but it's the ground level, effectively. Interesting. Intriguing. And it's uh, just built like over the meteor? Underground? Yes, it is built over the meteor because the meteor is contained below. Oh. oh, so we are at this. We're at the crash site. I would like to know more about the meteor. I will. Well, we'll discuss that once we find a place to sit. As you enter into this hall, as you push open these two grand doors, I'm embroidered with like this, a large tower that just kind of looks like almost generic, but it's like embellished a lot. It's similar to their emblem, but like just way more detailed than is necessary, just to give it more texture. Grandiose. And it splits, and the between the image is split between the two doors, so it splits apart when he opens the two doors, and it reveals this large hall that has a staircase going, a circular staircase, or two staircases going up to a secondary level above. And there's just an assemblage of tables around with several bookcases on either side lining this hall so there's a assemblage of people just kind of doing their own business at these tables all around at the very front just before the spiral the two staircases curve upward into the second floor which extends outward to two different hallways and then there's a central structure that has like a in the very back up top there's like a half of a cylinder with a split down the middle which is unclear to you what that is but there's something there it looks strange to you. Uh, but behind this desk, it's at the very, just at the bottom of these two stairs, uh, sits a very large lizard man, large crocodile man, with a blue sash over him with his green scales, and he has a pair of very tiny glasses as he's <laughs> looking over a scroll that's too small for his hands, so he's holding it very delicately. Do I recognize him as our friend from before? No, you don't think so, but... Hmm, I'm no. Little, I'm a little racist, though, are you sure? Well, for one thing, 
He has <laughs> two arms. That guy only had one. Okay, well, that's the other way. You will step across <laughs> the hall toward this desk as Natul addresses him. Uh, oh, I have to think of his name. I thought about who he was and how he talks, but I didn't think of his name. <laughs> Steve uh -oh. Irwin. His it's not Steve Irwin. I He's fucking hate him. Fine, his name is Irwin. Just go with Irwin. Irwin's a pretty <sighs> good name, not gonna lie. Sounds smart, too. Melvin. Elden and Irwin. I'm so mad. Damn. Hey, don't be mad. That man's a national legend. Okay. It's a better name than I was gonna say. Call him. You can go with Steve Irwin's uh, rival. What's his name? Corwin. <laughs> Jeff Corwin. Is... I've already decided his name. His name is Lucky. Lucky. Oh. Lucky Irwin. Fine. His name is Lucky Irwin. Fine. <laughs> Steve Lucky. La... It's Lock Buddy. Irwin. Steve Irwin was not Lucky. Let me tell you. Lucky <laughs> Irwin. Damn. I love you. Is it too soon? Fifteen uh... years later. <laughs> Okay, so he addresses him. Lucky, uh, I will, I'm going to take the center meeting table behind the stairs. Uh, if there's anyone who requires my attention, I'd send them there. And he looks up from his little book, and he puts it down very gently. Very well, sir. I will send anyone your way. <laughs> New favorite character, let's go. Oh, well, fun. <laughs> Greetings, everyone. When I am Lucky. Welcome to the last tower. Hi, Lucky. Oh, you sound like Kermit the Frog. I don't know who that is. <laughs> I'm the leader what of this you... merry band. I'm Lyle. Nice to meet you. He reaches out with his giant hand and holds your hand with his two fingers and gently shakes his hand. Hello, Lyle. Wow, that's a that's a that's a interesting accent you have there. Where Is are you? It? What parts are you from? I am from Olkheim. I came here when I was very young. Would it be inappropriate really? for me to say that you seem rather well spoken for one of your kind? I have to talk this low because your language is very hard to speak with. Oh. Also, if I talk faster, people misunderstand me, and it gets very frustrating. You know, come to think of it, um, the same people that we met uh, under the in the caves earlier in the campaign spoke a uh, different language. That we they didn't did, understand. yeah. Yeah, none of them spoke common no. or the common tongue. I think they all spoke draconic. Could only Way and it was Way and Adam could understand them. And I think Gazelle. Gazelle. Gazelle as well, yes. I was like, I've never known one of your kind to speak the common tongue. That's very interesting. You are uh, interesting. Well, I'm in charge of the bookkeeping here, and I handle all of the tomes of knowledge here, so I am very well read. Oh. I'll have you know. Intriguing. You don't look very red to me. It's a turn of phrase, sir. <laughs> but you're not turning, you're just standing. You take things very literary. literal, do you? What? He does, yes. It's okay. I understand. You see that, Gilius? You got someone who understands you. I don't think he understands being understood. No. Pats you on the head with his giant hand. <laughs> pat, pat. Hey, shouldn't you be, like, trying to kill him? What? I was talking to my friend. He's kind of... lizard aggressive. I don't know. I haven't seen him breathe fire yet. We'll see. Can oh, no. <laughs> I can't do that. I can, well, I can rip a man's head off of my jaws. 
Please don't do that. I have a very, I have very sharp mouth. You, very sharp teeth. You see, and he and he grins. And he just shows off his rows of very sharp teeth because he's Gazelle a giant hold... crocodile man. Mm. Gazelle holds up. Barry is like, well, yeah, we we could tear off heads too. Oh, is that a troll? <laughs> this is Barry. He's my. Oh my goodness! It's still alive. Of course he's still alive. That's why I have him. Isn't that right, Barry? That is incredibly morbid. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> sir. <laughs> oh, Don't I see. Worry. Are you all right, sir? <laughs> ah, very good, sir. Oh, you can speak to him as well. I know every language under the sun. Really? Yes. Uh, you know Celestial? Yes. Uh, Abyssal. Yes. Spanish. Yes. Klingon. Yes. So, <laughs> I feel like a couple Big of Latin. those are above the sun. What about yes. common sign language? He does a quick. <laughs> he does a symbol for yes in sign <laughs> sign language. Well, I was like, I don't know that. Does anybody know sign language? I did when we had D&D. So yes, you do. <clears throat> I mean, he's right. <laughs> hmm. Well, he's going to scratch his chin. Interesting fellow. You know where I come from? I... All of these uh, crocodile dudes are just like snarling barbaric maniacs. You're not much better. That seems very judgmental. You shouldn't judge people like that, sir. I'm not judging. I haven't called you a single name yet. Just You're saying. making assumptions of him based on his race. I I'm feel just, like you started I'm, this conversation by your kind, and that's not very good. I'm just saying. It's pretty offensive, actually. That's all I was I've, just trying to not call I've, attention to it because I didn't want to start any arguments. But now you're calling attention to it, so I feel like I had to point it out. If it makes you any feel feel any better, he's like this with everyone who's not ah, human. I see. Not everyone that's not human. Yeah, he's one of those self-hating humans. Hmm. Hmm. Very well. I think we're gonna. I, I'm missed. gonna hop up real fast. I'll be right back. Okay. I fly away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at her go. Yeah, she does that. I wish I could fly. Mm. Do, uh... I, I want to ask, like, what part of Olkan he's from. Um, like, if it... But I don't know what part of Olkan Nepano's from. I, I haven't really decided that. So. I didn't... I don't think I named the jungle, but it's the... If you look at the world map, it's the... The Lizardmen are basically exclusively from the lower... Uh, southwestern part of Olkheim only. Around that central mountain down there. Gotcha. So they were kind of close to Moros then? Yes, which is why they have a... Moros and them have a history. Yeah. Uh, but they live in the jungles down there, which is a lot of jungle. Right, well... I don't. Uh, I don't think Napano would have had any interactions with the Olkan uh, lizard people. But are there any differences between this guy and the uh, the lizard people that we met with uh, with Wei when we were defending their little shrine temple thing, whatever it was? Uh, depends. Can you speak Draconic, or do you think you can? Do you remember? Do you I imagine think you I can? can? Okay. Adam definitely can if Napana has questions. But, uh, for what you would, like, they're not, it's, they're not savages. As They're brutal when you cross them, but they're not, they're not, like, just going the other way to kill people. They're not mm -hmm. savage in that way, but if you pick a fight with them, they will fucking finish it. Right, but there's, like, not a difference between the Olkan tribe and the, uh, the well, Zhao... 
he's tribe. not there is no Zhao tribe of lizard men. They're just from Alkheim. Oh, they just Yeah, he like said he was from and... Alkheim. But what they about were the migrating that, that way was with? They were also from Alkheim. They were not here of their own volition. Ah, uh, okay. The ones I ran into were uh enslaved. Were like, enslaved pretty much. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. And they broke free. Okay. Yeah. Moot question then. You're good. No problem. Let's well, uh, uh, head into the oh. meeting room. Very well. Have a nice meeting, everyone. Hopefully, talk to you later. Waves a giant hand, returns to his book with his tiny hands. But not Adam his tiny hands. Waves. Holds the book in his the tiny book in his big hands. Adam just kind of waves back as he follows the rest of the group. You know, I miss Emu for some reason. We have <laughs> Emu if you would like us to bring you some. Yes, that's, please. Uh, oh, snap. That's not too old. Very to well, I'll have food. someone bring some dinner up as well to the meeting room while we're conversing. And he, he leads you around the staircase by going up them and shows where you can now see there's some, a couple doors going to some other rooms. And he opens one, which is a nicer door, and it leads to this very nice meeting hall with this big oak table that goes from one side to the other with several chairs, enough for you and more. Uh, it's adorned with like paintings of like classic stories of myth and legend, uh, images of cities you've never seen, some you have, or at least you've heard of. Just a just more just just as nice as everything else in this place as he heads to the head of the table and takes a seat and he dress he like gestures for you all to do the same or take seats of your own adam will just nod and take a seat yep. yes. this, is, oh, this is very wow this is very nice um Well, I was going to sit next to Tori. Okay. Hi there. Are there are there spots to stand to get a better view by chance? Uh, in this room? To like yeah. get a view of the entire room? Sure, you can stand like one of the corners and you can just view this long rectangular room and kind of get a good sweep of like all the paintings on one side and like two of the sides and then the entire like table. Hey, yeah, let's you... go. Let's go brood in the corner and look at everything. All right, brooding <laughs> in the corner. Understood. So you're in the brooding corner. A oh, Batman. Batman. The bird's gonna come over and perch on your shoulder. I'm sure. Robin. All right, you all take a seat. Is there anyone in the room with us yet? Yeah, well, it's just you <laughs> guys so far. Uh, and eventually food will be coming. But you don't know that uh, if Alden or Otaru are coming, he's not sated as such. Hey, are Alden and Hotaru coming? No. Damn! It's hoping okay. to see them. Is this a trap? Right. Are you gonna hurt you us? You can speak to them later. No, of course I'm not going to hurt you. Oh, okay. Unless you attempt to attack me, of course, then I'll have to hurt you. But unless you attack me first, I'm not going to attack you. Um. Wouldn't it be good to just put everything out there with all the players? Let well, everyone. I've already, I've already sure. gathered information from all of them. I need information from all of you. What kind of information? Well, yeah, your experience is what has happened, what you have seen, what you have not seen, what you know, what you don't know. That is what I wish to in ascertain. Very well. If they bring the others in here, they will offer their own versions of events, will make things muddled. I want to hear your sides. Do you not trust us? And that's not a matter of trust, but when more people get involved, stories change. 
it brings up a good are, point. Everyone in here has been together pretty much the whole time, with the exception of Napano being a more recent member. And to be clear, to be clear, this is not a matter of I am suspecting you of something. This is more the information that has been brought to brought to me about the situation that you are all involved with and that you have encountered is of dire nature and I need to be sure of the facts of the situation so I cannot afford to be given false information or the or a twisted second version hand. of events a second head account yes thank you I need to hear each side and figure out what is the truth what collaborates what doesn't and if I involve Alden and Hotaru, they will have their own versions of events and what they believe and see, and that could make things muddled. And I do wish to avoid that. Okay. Hey, can I uh, incite that in some way, shape, or form? Sure. I have a feeling we're actually on trial. Okie dokie. Hmm. What, what do we roll that defy danger or something? That feels right. Defy danger wisdom. Or, or discern tally. realities. Discern realities would give you questions to ask, and that could help you too. Like that could tell you if you defy troll. danger. Oh, discern realities. Let's go, Batman. Yeah, yeah cause right. the, uh, discern realities would let you kind of ask those insightful things. Ooh, holy moly. Right. Get them. Okay. All right. So you're doing discern realities, and I guess. Uh, way you're doing, you're gonna do defy danger to ascertain if he's lying. I, I didn't roll. Yeah, I, I got a four. That was the Mommy, did you roll a d two earlier? Oh, uh, he rolled a d two for who he's gonna sit next to. Oh, okay. All right, you rolled a four. Uh, so is that a fail? I, I'm assuming it's not a seven. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You have no more. You have no wisdom bonus. No, I have a zero in wisdom. Okay, oh. checking that clock up. Uh, uh, you he you can't see his face. He is very his like body. He's very controlled. It's very difficult to read him. And he kind of gets the sense you're looking at him like that, but he doesn't seem to pay it any mind. He doesn't seem to change his attitude with your suspicion. Adam just kind of glances there over, sees way, glances back. But don't don't worry about him. He, it's like this with everybody. All right, um, Purple, you want to ask your questions, or do I have to ask all three right now? No, but you can ask. You have three that you can ask. Can I can I ask a question before you do that, Nightmare? <clears throat> yes. Okay. Uh, it's it's Nazul, right? Not tool. Cool. Not tool. Cool. Okay. Uh, I I don't mind giving you my account of a, of events so far. Um, but I am gonna have to ask that you take your mask off, because the last few people of power that I've met, come across and dealt with have all been wearing masks. And uh, it's just becoming a trend that I'm not really a fan of anymore. I'm afraid I cannot do that. Mm, why not? Well, that is my personal business. But I do not wear this mask to hide something. I hide this, well, I do, actually. <laughs> More my own personal comfort. I apologize if it makes you uncomfortable, but this is more for me than for you. I, my face is not something you should want to look at. He's a muggle. Fair. Yeah, go ahead. Can I, uh, Besides, aren't you hiding something, Tori? Can I look at him with um, owl vision? Not really anymore. See if there's yeah, anything just... weird about his aura? Sure. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, I can't. I've been too liberal in letting you just be able to do that now. Okay, well, 
Uh, let's get to that later. You will get your answer, and it will give you some information. But Lyle, ask your questions first. These are called us. Or ask a question. If you um, want. The first question that I want to ask is... Um, what here is useful or valuable to me? I mean... And in terms of what exactly? Are you looking for wealth or like uh, personal goals? Um, I guess in on a more one... abstract uh, term, am I... It's a little difficult being constrained just to these questions, but let me tell you what I'm th thinking. Is I'm trying to discern whether or not this guy appears genuine in trying to help us. Um. He, did, he did dial my thing back, which makes me a little bit more inclined to feel that way, but he also did kind of take us here. Not exactly against our will, but well feels like our arms were twisted a little bit and that feels like that's what's what here is not what it appears to be okay. not what is here is useful or valuable to me okay so we'll give you different answers okay well pretend i ask whichever question gets me closest to what i'm asking you <laughs> okay um the 12 you don't there's no threat here you don't feel a threat there's no threat at play he's not okay. threatening you you don't get that sense he's, okay. there's no hostility to him that you can feel not unless we give him a reason not unless you give him a reason but he doesn't fear to be like a, he's not doing any certain motions he's watching through the halls of this place everyone's been very friendly no one's like like looked at you suspiciously beyond like curiosity hmm you apparently are slightly known here and people have been friendly. There's, It's not been an air of, like, hostility. All right, well... That, if I feel that on a 12, that puts me enough at ease to hear him out. Okay. All right. Owl vision. Okay, so here's what you see. You see all your friends around you with their, like glowing silhouettes they're like glowing people you know that's how people appear to you normally right sure uh he is like just an outline what do uh Cladus infected people look to me they, they're they like censored they, they you like okay. they're being erased from your sight this guy isn't you see him perfectly. He's just like, he's an outline. So he's like hollow, almost. He's like a hollow outline. You can tell he's there, and there's something there, but I ain't a lot. But he... So that makes me think he's like, maybe a construct or something? That he has less of a soul than everyone else? Possibly. Mm. Or he's a deity. Hmm. Astral projection. What, well, what color is his outline, Maje? It's like the same as everyone else around you. It's still like that. Well, because everyone has their own unique color because their souls are different because souls are weird. But he looks He's, just like... It's called natural key. Thank you. Is yellow the color of his energy? Please call me a yellow. No, it's white. Damn it. It's <laughs> us. Okay, It's well... like a... It's like that white that like happens in refraction. Like it's mostly white, but sometimes you see bits of other colors in there. Hmm, interesting. Philosopher's Stone. All right. I'll keep that to myself for now. Okay. I'm ready to hear what he has to say and what he wants. Well, from us. he. So you have all encountered what you have reported and what has been reported and all traits up, seem to apply what is supposedly the Cladis 
Yes, is that correct? That is We've what we believe. That's what you call it. Identify for me the traits that you have seen of this creature. How would you define it? Mm. Horrific. Some sort of elaborate consuming hive mind that is able to infect various people and possess them all concurrently speaking as one voice they call it the chorus you know when you like slaughter a chicken and you turn it inside out because you don't actually know what you're doing they look kind of like that We did dispose of the the thing we captured that attacked Tori in the jail cell, right? I was actually about to bring that up. I'm not sure if we still have that in the bottle or not. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Smart. Yeah. Do I just don't. I don't know that any. I don't. I know we got it bottled. I don't know that anybody did anything with it. Let me. Didn't Elden? My notes. I didn't think, Elden take I it? I think we gave it to Elden. Might have. I totally forgot about that. Though. Elden, then he put, is going. Well, I put it in my pocket, but I don't remember ever taking it out. I think I think Otto took it. Yeah, I think Otto yeah. took it. Wouldn't Otto's kill function come in though, and he'd crush the fucking thing if he'd had it? <laughs> Otto's not like full on out of control when he's like that. He just has a sense of that. Are we sure yeah. about that? Okay, then wouldn't Otto be red right now and not blue? Mm, it, it's not. Otto's not. Mm, it doesn't work like that. Aaron, roll for it's rage. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's not a barbarian. She'll bar. Um, Gosh. I don't, I don't have notes from back then, shit. I'm looking. Um. While he looks, I'm going to give my account. Gladys that we've encountered so far uh, seem to be able to mask themselves, uh, mimic living people uh, living their daily lives, but pursuing their own goals. And they are capable of turning their host bodies, if you want to call them that, into uh, regenerative aggressive beings that can also mutate and grow into much larger and as we've re recently seen much more uh, violent and gruesome foes that cannot be killed by conventional me uh, means I think the only reason we were able to defeat the one we fought last time was by a sheer miracle mm -hmm. the magical artifacts seem to be the only thing that can well, can suppress them because they are of the hive mind. It seems unlikely that killing just one will do anything to stop them overall. I got a level with you. I think it's, pretty hard. I think it's a little more complicated than just magical items because this thingy, and I was going to take his plus one magic dagger off of his belt laid on the table in front of him this thing seemed to have an enchantment or something and uh it did next to nothing no it only seemed to there only seemed to be effect when Otto attacked it and then the mask everything else mask. seemed to be the, everything else seemed to be uh, surface level at best what they mask? don't like fire, though. Well, we we already know why. We discussed that. It's, it's things that are imbued with the power of souls. Like, we know that. The group knows that. Do we, we know that in that. character? Yeah, I think so. We were discussing, like, that which is fundamental to all things and, like, what that could possibly mean, and I think Ares confirmed that it was souls. So. There's also a story of how it was made by the sacrifices of several living Tengu. Well, then, you know, I'm 
bad at this. So we know that the we know that something to do with souls. There's the voices. She could she could describe the voices maybe. The you voices what the mask. mask. Yeah. Uh, this mask. I'm gonna retrieve the mask from my belongings and just set it next to the dagger. Mm. Once hey. we once we uh, once we got we got this mask, we were able to fight back against the monster. Um, but we've heard that there are other such artifacts, maybe in Olkheim and a third one somewhere else that we don't know much about. I see. And he lifts a hand, and the mask and the dagger start floating in the air, and he just kind of turns a finger as he just, like looks at them. They don't move any farther up the table. He just has them in the air, and he's just like looking at them. They like rotate he's around like, and stuff? Yeah, he's like rotating it around like it's a 3DS, and he's using the stylus to move it around. Nice. That's uh, interesting magic that you got there. I've learned a lot of spells. I see. There are souls in this mask. This dagger, however, is a basic enchantment. It's no wonder it was not as effective. No. I think this, um... Adam just kind of motions over to his spear. I, I, I think this also might be effective. It, um... Well, it started looking real cool when, uh... When we started fighting the, the monster. And he kind of just takes out the spear and holds it out. The, he kind of he does the same that he's doing with the mask, and he just flicks a finger up, and it starts floating in the air. <clears throat> ah, he has spirit inside of it. I've spoken yes, to it I recognize this. It's one of hmm, it's from a later era. Interesting. How did you come upon this? Well, uh, you see, we, um, and by we, I, uh, Adam sort of gestures over in Way's direction. Uh, he had a sword that opened up a, a chamber that, uh, well, had a lot of things in it. This was just one of them. Ah, it was an old ruin. Yes, and the, the, the lizard folks were, seemed to have enough, some sort of desire to protect it. They're pretty they serious about it. Was it was similar to a chamber in Olkhan. That's not surprising that they have a... There's a... They have a religious belief to protect such sites. It's not surprising if it has the... Uh, emblemage of the old era. Hmm. They would be protecting it if they discovered it. It's part of their religion. Mm, so you're saying this is from the old era? What's the old era? Well, it is the area in which the Cladis first arrived. Which was oh, how many thousands of years ago was it now? It's hard to remember. It's been such a long time. It's very, very long time ago. Spooky. Mm, so you're saying this thing is thousands of years old? Yes. Hmm. Interesting. That's, that was interesting. It's not the only thing we found in that ruin. I'm going to gesture over to Otto. We uh, found an attachment. A part I'm not really too familiar with these um, these uh, war mechs, but some kind of uh, a upgrade for him was also found there. Looks at Otto. Hey kid, show him your buddy. You mean this? And he takes out this little little guy. Shit, what we need. His Good name's guy. Gear. His name's Gear. Gear. He has a name. His name's Gear. Greetings, I am Gear. Hello. Oh, you found a docent. Interesting. Of course it would work. He's my friend. Hmm. 
Do you have any records from 4,000, 5,000 years ago? Gear? No, sir. They are all corrupted. I lay dormant for several years, thousand years, inside of the laboratory, attending to my task. Be right back. I've there only was... recently awoken. There was also a a sarcophagus inside the ruin that uh, the docent was be was protecting. He's pretty insistent we not open it. It contained the plague. Even the class ah. or a different plague. I do not recognize that designation. Shit. I simply know it as the plague. Could that be a different name for the class? Uh well it is you could refer to it as a plague. I Alden informed me of your escapade into that ruin. I recall the details. He was I've... kind of uh, sparse with the details. He's a little jumpy about learning that we were in it. Yes, I would be too. If I wasn't sort of calm all the time. <laughs> no. what, what, what exactly was inside that sarcophagus? Well, we have not I have sent a couple agents to investigate and reconvene with the lizardmen that are now guarding it. And from what I understand from communicating with them, it was a medical sarcophagus for the person inside, but they are, well, we cannot open it to and risk contamination of, well, it is very bad that entire place is full of jungle and wild and plant life, as that could be corrupted. So we have opening the sarcophagus already was not an option, but it would be especially bad with all that in mind. So we can only take make the assumption that what this gear refers to is our plague. So if they didn't disturb the Sartakus and unleash the plague, how mm. are how are these Claudus things out and about and menacing us? That is a good question. It is unlikely that they are related, but it is interesting that there is dormant samples of Claudus around, but this imp your discovery of the Cladis outside of that implies that they that it has lain dormant all this time and simply stay in remained hidden for all this time, unless it has only recently awoken. But well, I do not know its extent and what it is intending to do. There is talk of its Did you discover between it a connection in with between it and something else? Is it simply operating on its own? Is it operating with something? You did not say. We were told that the Cladis is seeking its twin, that which holds it back, but we don't know exactly what that means. It's also worth noting that the Cladis seems to be being spread by particular individuals of a particular disposition. Moros, we, we think it already controls the upper echelon of Moros. Not only that, it seems to have uh, agents in the court of King California role as well. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know if the Cladis... Adam just kind of chimes in as something comes to mind. Um, I don't... The Cladis, at least what we're dealing with, doesn't seem to be from this era. Or at least the era of the stuff in the ruins, at least. Um, well, Adam just kind of taps his head, scratches a little bit. I, um, the first time I tried to commune with the, the spear, I heard something else say that it was much older. And I, I'm pretty sure that was the Cladis. Wait, are you, 
Is he also infected? Adam is, is infected. So both the Cladis and that soul may be speaking to you. No, no, that's, uh, that's, I think that's definitely what it is. But it referred to, one voice referred to the spear as being much older. Hey, much if, more. if Natul can get, uh, Lyle's clock down from a three to a one, can he eliminate it in Adam entirely? No, he cannot. I, he said as much when he, he did say as much. Yeah. Okay, I forgot. But it requires a much more in-depth process to completely remove it. And, and Adam didn't really get a chance to bring up any of the any of the interaction with the Gladys of previously because Lyle needed help. So yeah. multiple of you have been contaminated to a minor degree. That is disconcerting. Yeah, some. Yeah, it's, it seems they can live in food. Of course. Bread. It's organic material, why couldn't it? Let me summarize what you have given me. You have encountered a creature that is capable of transforming and mimicking other creatures it contaminates and subsuming them to gain their knowledge and information. It is appears to be intelligent, it appears to be scheming, it appears to be connected to Moros in some fashion, it has made motions and gestures at wanting to find its twin and remove some sort of obstacle between it and that twin. You have found relics containing souls, which appear to have been effective, where mundane magic is not necessarily as effective. You believe fire to be at least useful, if not only mildly, mildly effective against minor instances of this creature. Is well, that correct? Well, I'm Sounds no expert on this, but my belief that is, if it is also living material, it cannot possess uh, unliving material. So, anything that is burned and uh, any, any like living cells of the body that are burned away cannot be used by the Cladis, twisted to its uh, own ends. Mm. We spoke we... with one of the victims after it had been killed and. They begged us to burn their body. Yes. Um, there was a man in the sit in Empress Hutter City. He was a dealer of some sort and begged us to burn his body away after coming clean from the drug. He died moments after. I should inform you, and I believe Alden has informed you as such as well that these traits are not they are similar but they are not the same as the Cladis of old so what are you saying that this is something different this some, some other heebie jeebie flesh worm is wriggled its way into our bodies and is puppeting us whispering creepy things and making us hear voices no. feel a sinister presence no. fall from it Oh, the thing mind. you need to understand with the Cladis is it is an organism that can adapt to any scenario that it encounters. It is nigh immune to magic and is untouchable by the, the acts of gods. It is untouchable by miracles. It is untouchable by any magical means. It is a creature of mundanity and organic material. If you cannot fight it with traditional supernatural means. The th way you must fight it must e be equally extreme as it is organic to the extreme. It is... You say that fire is affected because it destroys cells? Yes? Well, that's just my theory. That's the theory. This creature has learned how to adapt to such heat and how to regrow itself by distributing the energy from where it is being burned to create new bodies and to ex move itself away from the heat and to take that heat and to use it as energy. I don't know it, about that. It was Considering... one of the first things we realized. You need to understand that when we, when the Cladis was first exterminated, they were burned with, like, with the heat of the sun, effectively, and they were not destroyed. Let me show you something. And he waves a hand as the 
your weapons fall to the table. Not fall, but lower to the table. And he snaps his fingers. And behind him, where the painting is, you watch as like a curtain of magic energy sweeps over it and it becomes blank as like it starts to change and shift behind him. And then after a moment, you see a room form. It's like a window looking into this huge spherical chamber, but it's not made of the marble of this room. It's made of like obsidian, obsidian glass. Mm -hmm. Inside is a huge chamber of obsidian glass that has circling this chamber. And in the middle is a giant sphere around that sphere is a circular disc that's being held up by chains. The edges of this disc are glowing and appear to be holding that sphere elevated. And at the top of this uh, uh, obsidian circular room or uh, spherical chamber is like a structure like forming like the roof of it. He looked, points back to it inside that room in the bottom of this facility that is the meteorite that fell that brought the cladis it's inside that sphere that sphere is made of the hardest metal that we could find to seal inside that room that chamber was burned by the weapons we used to destroy it to extinguish it to reduce it we expended everything that they expended everything that they could to destroy it and effectively burned that area with the power of a sun fueled by magical energies and other sorts of energies to attempt to keep it destroy, destroy it but they could not destroy the core we had to seal it in that or they had to. Father made mention of the core. So it's... Even though you've destroyed the meteor, to, for the most part, the core remains untouched. Yes. So when you say we, are you implying that you were... You, that you're old enough to have been part of that ceiling? Or just the Order of the Last Tower? Hmm. The Order of the Last Tower is not that old. I mean more we in the terms of all the people of this planet. Humanity. Humanity yeah. as a whole. Mm -hmm. Not you personally, then? No, you weren't there. I was not. No, I was not there. Okay. Well, um... We were told there were two meteorites, right? Yes. One fell to what is now Zhao, and the other fell what is now Acacia. Are we in Ac Acacia? Acacia? We're in Zhao. We're in Zhao. Oh, well, we were in Zhao. We're, we're in Zhao. We're yeah, we're in Zhao. Still in Zhao. Acacia is a wasteland. Well, maybe they built their own temple in a wasteland. I don't if know. You, if you guys look up at the world map, Acacia is the uh, country in the southwest continent. We are in the east, in the middle north of the lake okay. between yeah, Acacia, and Acacia is like southern Permong. Oh, we're in the middle of the lake? Is that where? No, we're in the we're in the it. we're in the crater, right? Oh, yes. I see. It. I see it. Yes, we're in the crater. Indent? Okay. So, one side of the planet and then the other. What is going on over there? Do you have any kind of uh, last According, tower presence near the crater? We have some observations there, but according to what records we discovered, what had happened is the weapon that was used to finally deal with the Cladis at the time burned effectively that entire continent or that entire section of the continent and reduced to a barren waste and destroyed the the meteor there we as far as i understand it uh the meteorite that fell here was the central one and the one that fell in acacia 
was a splinter of that meteor. Mm. Was there no core piece then? As far as records have shown, no. There was no core piece. Is it possible that there was, and maybe that's where this new strand of Cladis is appearing from? I can't say that's not a possibility, no. Is it possible another meteorite landed somewhere in the ocean? Somehow avoided detection? Well, there's working with this thing's working with Murrow somehow, so yes. perhaps part of it landed there. Yes. Tell me, I would like to know if you know anything about how the clad the Cladis have somehow gotten into Murrow's. I think that that would be this would be a good time to tell us how. Simple. It consumes someone who has influence and becomes them. That's all it needs to do. It becomes a perfect copy and becomes that person. And then it has that influence of that person and proceeds. But where did it start? Who can say? Who knows? So, I. We were under the impression that the Platus was fully contained and not a concern. So it's, can, it's, a, it's your belief that it's more likely the Cladis has infected somebody in Muros and is using their influence and their control within Muros to spread itself more likely that, than the other way around that Muros has found some way to weaponize the Cladis for their own gain. The people of the Sage have no true way to contain that thing. It would be impossible. It would easily overtake them in minutes, if it is indeed the Gladys of the Gladys of old. Hmm. But you said that this is a new... new this Gladys. must... The traits of this thing are not the same. According to the records, the Gladys of old was wild. It was just nature taking its course effectively. It was a like a wildfire. It would spread without thought or feeling would just consume everything in its path without a single thought. It had this... no time for it did not have scheme. It did not plan. It just spread, consumed, converted, assimilated. This one is scheming and, and has plans. Um, and we wanted to ask you about that because we don't quite understand its motivations. It had an opportunity um, to potentially take over uh, Empress Hotaru and her kingdom the way that we believe it has Muros, but it pulled back. Instead, it infested a, a serving girl instead of an important general or part of the nobility, and we don't know why. So, maybe maybe you could help us if it's supposed to just sweep over everything and consume everything like a wildfire. What's it trying to do? Because it didn't do that in Hotaru's kingdom. Well, if it was in Moros, it would have done it there. So, its nature is entirely different. So, why didn't infect more in Hotaru's kingdom? Or queendom? Emperor? Empire? Empire. I guess it's an empire. She's an empress. Why sure. didn't infect more? I would. It would merely be conjecture, but perhaps it desired to not be as noticeable. Perhaps it simply just sought to infiltrate and gain information and just perform subterfuge. If it is scheming, it is not acting as it would in the past. It must be having. It must have changed. It must have evolved. It Im oh. Or it implies that it's weaker. If it's as unstoppable as you claim, why would it be subtle? Why wouldn't it just bulldoze through and... He kind of... Point, he, like, like, wags a finger towards you. He's like, nah, that's... There you go. If it's attempting to stay hidden, that must mean that... Has there's an intelligence abilities. here. Well... If there's an intelligence, perhaps it's afraid. It is now. Because While the what, weapon... What happened in Acacia. And the world as a whole. 
Yeah. The weapons of old scoured them from the entire planet. Mm. Acacia was simply the worst off. Zhao was mostly contained. So, from what I understand, but Acacia faced the worst of it. Even though perhaps it remembers. Possible. It's possible. It would not be out of the realm of possibility. Then these weapons, I suppose they are also the artifacts that the Gladys was trying to seek for through means and scheming, trying to get my father to find a mask for them. That way they they would not be concerned with the mask. Although they should have been. Perhaps they did not know its potential, but if they were referring to artifacts of old, they would not be referring to artifacts of... If they were referring to artifacts of old, and they have the knowledge of the past and of the the era long before, back when they first arrived, such things were... Things were different then. The mask would have been a newer thing. That happened the time after that calamity. You did say this thing was adaptable, didn't you? I did, yes. Then perhaps that's why it maybe it did know something about the mask. We did potentially stop it at the last second from claiming it. If this thing was bearing its weakness, perhaps perhaps coming in contact more uh, safely, I guess. Uh, it's true. it was trying to we... adapt to it. That's an interesting theory, actually. We mm. have evidence that at least Muros is gathering these sorts of artifacts. We, we know um, that they're looking for uh, the magic stone that we told Elvin about, and they're going to use the Seeking Stone to find these various relics. Are you sure that they're looking for the Cladis? If it is the Cladis, it if it gets to if it gets to this core, I that is most likely its paramount objective. Anything else is supplemented to it. Any artifact it gains would only be a means to an end to get to that point. But perhaps it is attempting to adapt to that power that can fight it. It's not as powerful as the artifacts of old that it dealt with in the past that eliminated it. Somewhat glad we didn't. We don't have the sample on us anymore. Bringing it this close to the core, I think, would be pretty bad. It would uh, be very bad. I actually didn't find anything in my notes pertaining to what happened to it. So as far yeah, as I, I couldn't, know, I couldn't either. That's weird. Otto might still have it. In his chassis. Otto's gonna suddenly turn into the final boss. Well, if Otto has the piece of Cladis, does he want to show it? Sure. So you put the jar on the table? Yeah, so you he'll pull it out. BT dubs, here you go, bro. It is. Uh, when was the last time you looked at it? Has it been a while? Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, um. It's a bottle of So. Flesh. The jar that only had like a piece of something in it has uh it's filled the jar oh god it has spread out with fleshy tendrils and is filling the space and it is gaining mass it had, as it stretches itself but it doesn't have enough material to really get more weight so it can't push its way out but it's definitely trying to figure out how to do that you can yeah. tell but you have wedged it on there really tight so it hasn't gotten out yet. Look at him. It's bigger and yeah. grosser. It's also pulsating. <laughs> Perhaps we need a, a stronger Gross. vessel to contain it. Uh, um, I think that we should, you know, you know, kill it. Actually, well, maybe Natul would like to look it over and see how it differs from the Cladis that he's more familiar with? He gets up from his chair, and he walks around the table to look at it. He reaches over and picks up the jar of his hand. Gutsy. <laughs> um, 
Well, you're not just twirling that one around in the air, huh? No. If it is as resilient as the Cladis is to magic, it might... The spell might interact strangely with it, and I will not take a risk of it breaking out of this containment. Hold on a moment. He reaches into his pocket, and he pulls out a small vial, and he kind of plops a cork and, like, drips it over the edge of the bottle and just kind of pushes it down just a little more as this white material, like, is around the edge of this bottle. And he watches it quickly hardens. There. Now it should be secure for the moment. I'm going to take this. Do you have an objection? Because if you do, I don't care. I'm taking it. Um. She shakes his head. No, oh, don't get that. I don't want to see it. Minor objection. No, you can have it. Good. He walks over to his side of the table and puts it down and puts it in front of him so it's in his view at all times. Because <laughs> it like tries to it, like jiggles the jar a little. Interesting. Hmm. Well, it appears to be very similar, if not the same creature. So that's... Well, that's conf confirmation. All right. Well, that's not good. It's not good at all. Are they different enough that we should come up with a different name to differentiate old Cladus versus new Cladus? No. The name still fits what they are. It simply means that if it it wants to achieve its final form... <laughs> eh, it's not very funny. Are you saying this isn't even its final form? <laughs> Correct, it's not. Well, that's not good. I've only been seeing these things get uglier and stronger. So, well, they, they have to consume more mass to grow. Glass, however, is inorganic. So, good choice. Is Cap also not organic? Hmm. Good. Would have been very bad if it wasn't. I want to destroy it. What a... Of course... Oh, what, yes. Of course what, you would. What yes. counts as organic? Can it consume plant life as well? Yes. That's Corpses? Yes. Corpses we've seen, but... Mm -hmm. I am interested in the plant life because we were... Uh, we, we had confronted a high priest who seemed to be very in tune with the class, using it to... Using a it like priest? Yes. Yeah, so oh. Yes. Zemus? Yes, yeah, some Zemus. dude dressed high, in blue. High priest Zemus. That's my thing. Yeah. <laughs> this motherfucker. Well, uh, you know, there's only seven colors. What can you do? Um, yeah, what can you do? That... His base was in the jungle, and we did not find... Or really see any black or clearings, barren life. Well, it wouldn't be barren, could, unfortunately. If he could take control of, or if the Cladis could take control of plant life, then surely we would have been in much more dire straits if the entire jungle was against us. Unless it did not intend to do so. What do you mean? Well, as your friend has pointed out, it appears to be having a. It's scheming, it's plotting, so what would be the most disadvantaged thing for a scheme or a plot which involves subterfuge would be exposing yourself and revealing yourself so it appears to be remaining hidden intentionally so it is not as spreading as it could perhaps it's evolved nature has limited it in some ways perhaps i suppose it did maybe it traded one one strength for a weakness it's possible. That would be good for us, in any case. What can we do about it? If now that, it... Now, if you mention that it's it used to spread like wildfire, but traces of it seem to be in some of our companions, but not taking over, then is there and ability must... to spread much less well, restrained? It's quite possible. There's always a... From records it is infection was guaranteed death at the time 
but if you friends are infected and they are not under direct influence of the Cladis or have not been subsumed, which I do not sense that your friend Lyle here was, the infection is minor, truly. It is about a st inkling, and it is stunted in growth, so it must need some sort of stimuli to grow. I'm not sure what sort of stimuli I would require. Is, it is there a chance that it's spread out too thin? Hmm. That wouldn't be a problem for it in the past, but given its newfound intelligence, perhaps? Perhaps that's the case. Perhaps it has weakened it in that way. That it, to maintain... Using too much energy. Type. Yes, perhaps so. So that is a advantage for us which gives us some avenues to pursue. For example, you mentioned artifacts, yes? Artifacts that use the power of souls? Yes, yeah. we think that there's one in Olkheim, and I think we were told there was a third one, but we didn't have a location for it. We don't know the what last... they look like, if they're like masks or... If you were referring to what I think you're referring, did you hear this from the Cladis? I think we... No, I think we heard it from Ares. Yeah. Ah, uh, uh, yes. We hear it from... Uh, Lapis. Laris. I think we got some... And yeah, Laris, we, I think we milked some intention out of a Morosian spy. Olkheim and... If I think... I believe I know what to what you refer. There are two artifacts that could have are in those locations that I know of. One is in the jungles of Olkheim. It is if it is what to our, to what I think it is, we do not need to worry about defending them. They are not they are not mm, they're not objects, I suppose you could say. Not objects. They are not tet it's complicated. But That's I will so. tell you that in terms of whether you need to defend them or not, they do not require your aid in that matter. Well, whether or not we need to keep them protected, do we not want to obtain them ourselves? The, the mask was that, very useful in combating the... Perhaps I should s cease being obtuse. Please. The artifacts that I believe that you refer to are the weapons that destroyed the Cladis in the first place. They Essentially more them. autos? E mm, yes, but these would be the control units. Of which there were three. One is an Olkheim. One, I believe, is in Zhao, but I'm not certain as to its location. Though I have some beliefs. There's a third of which I do not know where it is. And I have looked. Probably Muros. Muros. If it was in Muros and the Cladis is running rampant, it would activate and would likely hunt it. Perhaps. It's hard to tell. They have be they are complicated and they have become different over the years. Is it possible that the weapon is in Akaya? Is it was it Akaya? Is that Mm. We have searched for it there, but I, we have not found one, but it's possible. And there are other places in the world besides the countries we've mentioned. It could be anywhere. It likely has hidden itself to be left alone. But they will self-activate in the presence of the Cladis? If they are not... If they are dormant, then they would activate in the presence of the Cladis, as that was their design. I know one of which is at least semi-awake and has been for a long time. One, I'm not sure of its status, but it's possible it's still dormant. But if... I'm not sure if it would activate to just for the Cladis now or not. It's hard to say. But in terms of the Cladis being able to destroy it, or Moros, or any, any of the modern nations being able to fight them, not possible. None of you, no nation has the means to defeat them. So, 
What should we be doing then? Well, as it turns out, as a quirk of fate, in the prior era, weapons using souls were not as common. However, post the Calamity, there has been an uptick in those as they have become more prominent, such as your mask here. The spear was a later addition in that era, before the Calamity happened. I attempt to create a weapon to fight, but was not as effective. But could be effective now in the right hands, such as yours. So, there are multiple weapons you could find, most likely. Zhao has a history of such weapons scattered around the continent. Myth and legend, stories of heroes wielding weapons of tremendous power. And you're telling people me becoming... going to be hunting down legendary weapons, things that we've only heard stories of. I didn't believe that this mask really existed until the day my father died. Now we have to go and find all these things. Well, you could find whatever ones you want, as long as they are effective in your hands. It's also possible to infuse weapons with souls. There are ways. I know of some. A uh, few are pleasant, though. Um, I, hate I have to... a question. Yes. Uh, mm. Sorry, sorry, Lyle. Uh, if I beat things with Barry, yeah. he has a soul. I think so, yes. Does that count? Mm. I don't... Mm. It might have to be uh, more, maybe you have to be more in tune with it, you know, like uh, like me and Sherikon here. It's, hmm. I'm pretty sure he's my familiar at this point, just to say. Barry's soul is still within his form. The weapons use souls separated from form as a source of power. That's why they're so strong. Life is powerful like that, or souls are, anyway. Once they are moved and become disembodied, they are extremely powerful. That's why, that's why demons want them so often. So you're saying that these machines who are made from souls were also using weapons made from souls? No, they themselves are made of, well, many souls. Hmm. Okay. You're so, safe, Barry. I'm not going to beat anything with you anymore. Well, at least mer- not for The story of the Tengu mask involved the sacrifice of many Tengu warriors to empower it. So that would work. If I had to assume these other weapons are... Actually, Gazelle just brings up a good point. <clears throat> Should we worry of Barry being infected? Oh, yes. I... Don't know how the Cladis would react with a troll host, but it won't be good. I'm pretty sure he's fine. Mm. Isn't that right, Barry? Mm. Makes an uncertain noise. Might want to watch what you feed him. Here, have a berry. Um, If if we knew more about what was in these weapons? Could we use that to determine where to look? If you had some sort of detector of souls, or... Mm, well, I mean... The or archive... maybe just what's inside has some idea of where it was when it was made. I, well, we have very many records here. We could point you in the right directions. We have a habit of collecting anything that we can in terms of knowledge so we can put you in the right direction we have a variety of things you can search out and find hell the emperor of Zhao long ago collected so many treasures it's impossible to know how many were of such type he collected so many it made it very hard to record any of it I don't like this man Oh, fuck we, yeah, we're gonna get gauntlets and wing swords and crazy blade boomerangs, all kinds of Dynasty Warriors weapons. Well, we did we did draw a weapon from this bag that belonged to the Emperor, some sort of bag of holding. You have uh, a bag of holding from the Emperor? Uh, 
Yeah. Oh, it was no. a gift from Hotaru. She had a bag of holding that had the weapons. No. Can I see it? Um, you know, I feel <laughs> like what are you at rolling a lot of the hundreds? We're we're working together here, but you really haven't shown me your face yet, and I'm, you know, we just kind of met, so this is moving really fast, you know. He like grasps the air a little bit because he he's like, mm, mm, I, I want it. Look, I'm sorry, but a girl's got to have her boundaries. You understand? Look, I want you to be able to look me in the eye when you reach into my bag of holding. You know? Yeah, you can't just put your hands in my bag like that. All right. Can I? But I will let you look at these nunchucks. Is that fair? I will look at your nunchucks. Show me your nunchucks. Right. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to uh, put that Raime Nozon kill on the table. Oh, of course. Of course, he would have his just his nunchucks, huh? <sighs> look, those are cool. Okay, like, fuck yeah. Okay. While all of this chicanery is going down, Lyle's gonna suddenly. Slam his hand on the table and interject, like, Okay, this is all well and good, but why are yeah. we discussing running from one country to another, hunting down legendary weapons, and going and messing with artifacts that may or may not have had a connection to this monster plague a bajillion years ago? This is not our responsibility to take care of. I just want the one that's in me out of me. Can we focus on that first? I mean, fair. I'm, I'm concerned with both, but yes, you know what? Is there a way to remove the class from Lyle and Adam? Well, given that it's stunted growth, yes, I believe so. I would not promise it would be pleasant, but we can we can certainly try. What steps? This would be the best place. Well, we would need to verify where it is in your body, isolate it, and cut it out effectively, and then destroy it or seal it as such that it cannot grow or go anywhere. Oh, tumor removal surgery. You need what to if understand it's in his junk. We would have to remove his junk, yes. Now hold on. We'll slow down a minute. <laughs> Surely there's a magical artifact somewhere. No. That... Uh, did you miss the part where they are immune to magic? What if it's a soul gotta, artifact? Gotta have a gotta have a soul weapon. And I can assure you that no one, at least I that I have read or found, has created a scalpel that has the soul in it. Able to help. In terms of finding it or incinerating it? Yes. Uh, well, you would have that capability being uh, one of the originals. Yes. We're just going to skim over that. Well, there you go. Maybe the kid can help you out. I mean, I trust Otto. And he really doesn't like the Cladis, so he. Probably would have we would have seen time that out what the kid does to Gladys when he spots them. I do not want that to be my judge! Well, I can assure you that we would still have to find it in your body as it is quite small. And I have some inklings where it is. What and did you say I is quite small? Safely say, I can no, it's safely junk. say it's not in your junk. You're, you're fine. It's not in Probably your junk. In your head. It is somewhere in your head, yes. Possibly connected to your spine. Oh, he doesn't have a spine. We can remove his brain. He doesn't use that anyway. Mm. Jeez. <laughs> Getting dunked on from all sides. Mm. Gazelle just pats him on the back. That's assuming also that it does not move in your body, which it could, if it's so desired or has the energy to do so. But if you wish for us to engage with attempted to remove a paper body, you would just simply need to stay here under watch and you need to do some examinations to find it and we could remove it. Hopefully. I can't promise anything for certain, but I'm confident we can. 
And I assure you that I, if I'm confident, it is likely doable. Hmm. So, well, I, I imagine that that's also a very costly uh, procedure as well, isn't it? You think I'm, you think I'm going to charge you to pull? No, of course I'm not going to charge. I'm not a I'm not a capitalist. What are you talking about? Sorry, no. we're uh, we're just I, I assume for looking around here that you guys were very lucrative and you know uh, acquired funds. This is a very let me be very transparent here. I am very very old. I have watched a lot. I have been around. I have garnered a lot of favors. I have gotten a lot of things. Things that sell for a lot of money, potentially, and then that person dies, and somehow, and then I end up getting that thing again because I outlived them. So, oh, interesting. Um, well, all right then. I've been looking for a way to pay Lyle back since he helped me, uh, and I thought that if he needed to need somebody to cover his surgery, then I could help there. But yeah, well, let's. Slow down just a little bit. I'm very enthusiastic about getting this thing out of me, but not if it requires removing my spine or a chunk of my brain or possibly my junk. Just saying. Well, that's literally the only option. We can't magically remove it. Why not? It's... I thought you were magical. It's either that or we kill you. I was able to stunt its growth by sending pulses of energy through you that I distilled down from magic into actual energy, which is why it was so unpleasant for you. Well, hey, maybe I, it can help you. I right? effectively cooked you inside your body very carefully to remove, to stunt it. Mm -hmm. So how are you feeling about that, Lyle? Not I'm no, unsurprised that you great. threw up. I think I might throw up again. That's understandable, but please don't throw up on my table. It's a very nice table. Yeah, no it's made problem. It would be nicer if it was made of mahogany. Mm. Just say. I tried to get that. Tried. I mean, Can't. they both need it, so maybe Adam will be braver and get it done first. I have a good understanding of the human body. It Adam just kind of blinks a couple times. Better. I mean, I trust the kid. It's not that I don't trust him, but. I'm a gambling man, but I don't like gambling with my life. If it makes you feel better, either you go now or you die later than the Gladys. Yeah, at least if you die here, we know to burn the body. Well, we won't. Well, well they, they won't, but we won't. Don't worry. We'll figure it out. Is this a Not joke? Helping, old man. To you? You're not gonna die. You Stop won't be dying. an OM. Nothing about what I said was a joke. Oh man, it's a shame I haven't learned resurrection yet. I'm like one level away. <sighs> we could bring you back from the dead if you die. Oh yeah, I'm sure there's people here who know it. I know that spell, yes. You know how to resurrect people? Yes. And multiple ways. I have a skeleton butler. Snaps his fingers. One of the doors opens. Skeleton butler walks out. <laughs> he brings he brings out a cup of tea, puts it down in front of each of you. And Not for him. Kind of stairs. Where are those emo wings we ordered like half an hour ago? Oh, yes. I don't know. <laughs> Snaps his fingers at the skeleton. Skeleton walks out. Walks out of female wings. You said that 
You said that the tower, the Order of the Last Tower, came long after the old era, right? Yes. Is there any relation to between the tower and the I guess the other factions of warriors that fought against this thing in the past or no? Well, it was uh, is there a connection between the tower and the old era's governments and their factions fighting against Gladys? Not directly we have some lineages tracing back to those days I believe Adam just kind of nods and understanding um hmm. I wonder I wonder what the spear thinks of this he says before stretching out his hand and as he does so the uh, the spear kind of rattles a bit on the table before f before moving through the air and into Adam's hand. I'm just gonna throw the, I'm just gonna click the move real quick. And then after that, he will consult with the spirit. Okay. So he is trying to get an impression from the spear about a connection <laughs> between spirit. the last tower and the old era. Um, more if it's it, Natul said he was pretty damn old, mm -hmm. and Adam has this kind of a suspicion that maybe this guy is know knows a bit more directly about the old era than he's letting on. And so he is curious, and, and and these weapons as well. So he's a little curious, given given the process of how the weapon was made. If maybe the spirit inside of the spear, one, if it has any real recollections of its past life, and two, if it did, would it have had any knowledge of, if not Natul directly, maybe people like him. Oh, okay, that makes it interesting. The last way you, the last thing you said. Ooh. Uh, mm, people like him. Okay, well, he is, when he says he's old, the weapon thinks, you can tell the weapon's like, agrees that he is older than maybe he even is saying he is. And as far as, has the spear seen people like him? Yes, but not because he's an order of the member of the Order of the Last Tower. He doesn't think that he's seen Natul directly, but he has seen someone. He can. It seems to know what sort of position he used to hold way back when, or generally. It knows what Natul held or something what, like what Natul. position what kind of position Natul held it has the general vibe of like it's one of those guys it's one of those guys does that mean what position you mean like rank in yes it's rank uh mm, job is more appropriate than just rank and what job was that, or does the spirit give that kind of information? He, the spirit, the spirit can't give you exact specifics, but it remembers that there were people who were in charge of making things like him, and there are people in charge of other solutions. And do you think he, the spirit, and the spear thinks that the tool is one of those other people who sought other solutions? not really giving us other solutions. The big robot control units take care of everything. Because Webster. his other solutions didn't work. 
Well, the other solutions maybe compared to taking souls out of people and sticking them with the weapons. But, yeah. Okay. Mm. Adam just kind of puts his spear away and looks at the tool briefly. Seems you, uh, you really are pretty old. I am very old. Yes. It's okay. We won't think less of you. I appreciate that. Thank you. How's the game you like? <laughs> Do you pretty mind if... Pretty good, thank you. He does not have any food in front of him and no drink. He does not take any. Sauce. So were these two able to go under the knife like... I, again, we need to do some examinations, but we can do that over the course of next couple of days. It will. We have to determine where the infection is, then we have to determine what steps we have to get to get to it safely without killing you, or if we need to do that and then resurrect you afterwards if it's in a very specific spot, because that would be easier. Or if we can just simply put you to sleep and then work on that, we have also, to figure that out. Also. Is it possible? I, is it possible for one of us mm -hmm. to even learn this spell, Resurrection? I mean, we've been on our own for so long now. And... Are any of you wizards? I guess no, so. I don't think so, but I am the great sorcerer, Gazelle. Sorcerers are not wizards. I am yeah. just kind of shakes his head. I feel like at one time there was like a fry cook the new wizardry but that seems like a long a, time ago you had a fry cook wizard that's weird who would make up something like that i don't <laughs> it's that's weird it's like there's a gap in my memory what the hell that's probably the cladis it's probably the cladis <laughs> i also feel like you, did eat, you did eat the drug jerky there's this grayed out presence I do have access to cleric spells, so out of character, I, I will get resurrection at some point. Well, that's at some point. This is this point. Yes, I don't have it right now. If 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 it is not it's possible, still not a wizard. Well, if it's a not cleric is to... a different method than what a wizard would get. He can only teach you if you're a wizard, and that still requires you to be stronger than you are, or I think. Okay, well, no, then. I guess it's a different type of resurrection. Out yeah. of character. Um, yes. Can you get resurrection, like, written on a spell scroll to cast, much like uh, any other spell? Or is it more nuanced? It's more nuanced than that. Damn. He can do it here because he has the, the resources at his disposal here, which is, like, everything that he needs. So say say Lyle takes a nasty spill down this down some like a, like a spiral staircase that would fuck. If he up. falls on a spiral staircase here and dies, he can be saved. He just ends up <laughs> being the question if he decides to resurrect him as is, turn him into a undead or a skeleton man, depending on how he's feeling. This is getting a little too <laughs> real for me. No, but actually, mechanical question though. Assuming we were not. Here at last hour HQ, and Lyle drops dead in the field, and he still has like one tick on the uh, clock or whatever. Would he become he... Cladis? Yes. No. Okay. Well, then, what if he's just dead, and then I resurrect him? Would he come back with one tick on the thing? Would it just resume where it left off, or would it advance? Would it? If he comes back to life. It would too, because it's not connected to him that way. If he's a corpse, it's still there. Okay. Because if he I dies, that doesn't mean the Cladis dies. Gotcha. It's not him, it's in him. It's like a bug, basically. I feel, I feel like level one organs. is too weak to take over, though. Yeah, it's too weak right now to take over. If it was a two, still no. Three gets iffy. If he was on the next stage and not a four, then it's a possibility. 
then we're probably burning you instead of trying to resurrect you. Sorry. Yeah. But if um, he goes next stage, doesn't I will tell you out of character. If he goes to stage one, he's at stage zero, basically. Or I guess this is stage one. If he goes to stage two, then he's not insta turn into a Cladis person. The Cladis just has access to him. And then that might fuck. It gives him thing. It give, will give him something, but also would be a problem for everyone. Hmm. Okay. So actually, in character, I, I do want to ask about uh, what the Cladis knows about us having, you know, infested our two companions here. Is it able to see their past memories or just what they're currently seeing? I how how would I know? I don't know. I can't tell you that. I thought you were the Grand Wizard. I thought you knew the most of anyone on the planet. How, how would I get that information? <laughs> Probably wouldn't be a good idea. These this. things for thousands of years. Being alive for thousands of years doesn't mean that I can break the laws of how you get information. I don't know magic. Magic doesn't work on the Cladis. Okay. Well, and you're... I mean, you saw how hard it was to get information from the one, when from the one dude. So, I and I don't think giving him a Gladys in his head would help us much. Okay. So, just going off of your best guess, then should we like, if, if we're talking important things, should we put these two off in a corner because they could As... be spies? Not assuming that I don't. We don't remove them in the next two days, or three, depending on how long that takes. If you lead the infection there, I would say as long as it doesn't progress, but it's hard to... It would probably be safe to do that, yes. Just in case. At the current stage they're at right now, it would be fine, most likely. But if it were to advance, it might become risky. I... I think we should just go ahead and have this uh, get in the bud. Yeah, because I would like this. You know, I, I would hope that you guys would do the same thing for me if I, you know, was slain and infected with Cladis that or, you know, if I was slain, but there was a chance to save me before I turned into, you know, big walking gross monster. Well, but hope your friends would do that. Yes. Yeah. R.I.P. Blue. Okay. Blue, indeed. Um, but yeah, mm. I think so. So yeah, get so yeah, we we uh, we get this you're thing getting the surgery. You're getting the surgery. Is there anything that we haven't covered yet? I mean, I know that we've um, talked in length about the class, but I am curious now. Like now that we've discussed uh, in length what we've gone through. Um, what next? I would like to see uh, Empress Hotaru and uh, Ag as well as Elden to confirm that to confirm their safety. Very well. I've got enough information to verify what I believed and confirmed. And so else, I'll... and everyone else has done too, right? Not just me. Uh, yes. Yep. Yeah, I had these questions in mind to ask of. Uh the tool and I think we got just about all of them Aaron you've been kind of quiet um Otto will probably talk to him on his own later okay don't be I guess we're good I guess we're good very well then he'll summon Hotaru and Elden who will join you in this meeting room. Hotaru looks pretty disheveled and looks like she's had a day, but she's okay. She's had a, she's had a time. It's been a rough week. Is she wearing her mask? No. Okay, so even she's willing to take it off, but Head Wizard is not. He is not, no. In fact, if he's not wearing, be clear, he's not wearing a mask, he's wearing a helmet, basically. You can't see any of his head. Totu not wearing her mask around us, or does she not have it at all? She doesn't have it at all right now. She's not disguised at all. Oh, it wow. appears the disguise has fallen away. Again, it's been a week 
for her. Had a bad time. Certainly seems as that way. Uh, Elden looks stressed as fuck, but he looks okay. Poor Elden. He sits down and quickly starts eating El emu leg. Jeez. It's good to see all of you. <clears throat> yeah, uh, glad you're alive. Same to you. Thanks. Wish I could, well, kind of wish I could say that about my father. I don't know, that whole situation's. Oh. It wasn't I'm, easy, uh, but I'm fine. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, g g good. I'm, I'm glad. Uh, well, I'm not glad that you're dead. Oh, this is awkward. <laughs> yeah, it is. We've all had kind of rough. Is AG not here? Uh, he shows up eventually, but he looks more annoyed. But he sits down and eats an emu leg and just gives a grunt of acknowledgement. He's got some scrapes and cuts on him. Some bandages. Well, I'm glad all of you are safe. Well, I did say that I would get them out if things turned bad. That was my promise. So when things did go bad, uh, pretty fast. So they caught you off guard, huh? Well, they caught a... Hotoro speaks up. Uh, well, they... there was a revolt, and they were backed by our enemies, so... You didn't even want to yeah, say his I... name. No, I don't. It's a very stupid name. I hate him. A revolt, you say? <laughs> that's... Wait, that's... your own subjects rose up and... Yes, he leveraged... They leveraged my... What I am against me as a means to... Start a revolt among people who, you know... I'm a demon, so... I must be uh, tricking them all and attempting to pull them in under my sway so I can do something with their souls or something. I see. So that's their angle, huh? Do you have any proof or just conjecture? No. You think proof matters when you sway up a crowd? No, it doesn't. Of course it doesn't. Well, accuse if him people... of being a demon right back then. Doesn't work like that. I'm saying. the one who hides my face. It's easy to put that against me if suspicion starts raising. And it was already there, given after everything that happened when you were all there. Do you, think the, the, do you think the freaky monsters had something to do with this? Probably. I mean, I had to lock down the town, which already raised tension, so it was was a tense time, so it was easy to rile up the crowd against me. And I can't exactly go and have my troops go silence them. That would only garner more ire, and that would be even worse, and I didn't want to do that. No, and without the ability to determine who's infected and not, it's a lot of innocent lives you're putting on the line. Mm-hmm. In this... But situation I you know I, I have to think that ab abdicating leaving might have actually been the safest option for those left behind yes he's not going to harm the citizens no I was able, we were able to take some of the staff of us those that were aware of my secret and I've known for a long time those that weren't were told to if they were believed didn't believe that and believe me to just pretend they did believe it and that they were against me too so they would not be slain so what is the situation uh, in your city then have, have is the army still occupying it or are they it's conquered they they've taken the city they have it are they has King California roll himself shown up in the city? <laughs> uh, only after the battle was finished. And to gloat, I don't understand it, before we've left. I mean, is he 
pillaging? Is he enslaving your people? Or are they just becoming part of his nation? What's his endgame, do you know? He wants to conquer their all the... Well, I imagine he's going to pillage the valuables from the citizenry. He likes to do that. Apparently, our, the Emperor had a history of doing that. And he followed in that suit when he conquers someone. He likes to just take the wealth of people to film his personal endeavors. That's one of the <laughs> That sounds right. <laughs> what a lad. Can't believe oh, he's uh, levying the people like this. What do you suppose we do? What What do we do? Do what you want to... No? I don't... I don't know. I've been here a few days. I, I haven't thought that far. Do you want to assassinate the Emperor? We might. Uh, you know... Now I mean, if he's I'm, a dick. I, I, I have strong objections to assassination attempts of a uh, warlord who could easily <laughs> overwhelm my uh, quaint mountain village. I mean, what if uh, our, our wizard friend just teleports us under his bed and we wait for him to go to sleep at night? I can't <laughs> teleport under a bed, says Elden. No, I, I'm talking about <laughs> the more powerful wizard. Not you the want... basic bitch wizard. Absolutely not. Um... As we've seen, teleport sickness is a real thing. If we all it's... teleport under his bed and start puking, that's going to alarm me. The him. Order of the Last Tower is a neutral party, and if I help to assassinate the Emperor of a state, that's not very neutral, is it? But what if it's being controlled by the Cladus? Oh, what my... if the head of state is a flesh monster? My god! Lyle interjects. What is the matter with you people? Why are we even entertaining the idea of assassinating a foreign f emperor just because he did what? What emperors do? Took over the land of a hot princess? We're supposed You're to go asking. and start a revolt and oh, take over a whole country? Like, are you listening to yourselves? You're acting I kind of sus and me. defensive. It's because but you both have flesh slugs in your head? I... Mm. Yeah, you know, that's your... You know what, we, ever since uh, we let the goblin into the mm. diplomatic discussions, it's been nothing but murder. Is that a little suspicious, maybe? No, actually, we've avoided murder. We've actually tried, like, we didn't even murder Ares. That's true, he did die fighting the monster. Yeah, not for lack of trying. That wasn't our game plan. Tori's mm. game plan was to talk with him. I was only going to kill him if talks failed. And even then, I don't really know if I could have done it. That's why I gave you the stone. In case I failed, you could leave. Or you could flee. It wasn't your fight. And we respected her wishes. Our only fight is with the Cladus, which sounds like California has one in his head. Not a fan of based, the Cladus. No, based on what? My dad. No. Based on what? The well, fact he... that he conquered a neighboring country? Based on the fact that he levied Hotaru's Oni origin, and only the Cladus was privy to that. Why is that surprising? Like, if I... Because the Cladus doctor in, if I was in charge, figured it out, and he squirted away. Her personal doctor, who knew that she was an Oni, got infected. Muros and there you go, the Cladus figured it out. And this is what Muros does. They invade other people's countries... They take people from them. They get any information they can out of them and leverage them against their own people. We're not even talking about Murus right now. We know that it was the Cladus infected doctor that... No, we don't. We don't know anything. No, we, we do know that. We fought the doctor ourselves. Yeah, we fought the doctor, so what? Okay, what's you're acting real you? nice. Yeah, yeah, you're. Yeah, what's wrong with you? What's wrong Ed with me? Crosses his arms. What's wrong with me is I have a 
little flesh spider in my brain, spine, and or junk. And we are sitting here fantasizing about traveling the world, collecting treasures, and plotting to assassinate emperors that we don't like instead of solving any problems that are, you know, actually our problem, actually our responsibility, actually our concern. I didn't sign well, no, on. We're, we're to... going to get your spider junk fixed before we leave here. Mm. Don't worry. Yeah, we already talked about that. Yeah. You and me yeah. both, right? I didn't you, sign you, on to fight a war. Do not understand Whether you that? want it, like it or not, the war is coming your way. You're already involved. Yeah, I don't think you can run from Murrows forever. No, no. Uh, okay. Stop. Well, I appreciate what you've done for all of us, and me especially. Helping me talk to my father and the results where we've gotten now is you've done a lot and I understand it's much more than ever could have been expected of anyone and I know that this is really escalating fast you think? if you want to walk away you can I'm not going to shame you because it is pretty bad if you wish to take leave of or if you want to gain the services of the last tower and remove your infection and then go somewhere we can certainly provide that service if you like if you want to join the last tower as a someone who's uninvolved in this business we can facilitate that as, that as well again the last tower is a neutral party and will not involve itself in a war between two nations regardless of what is going on we do not have solid proof that the Cladis is involved, and thus we cannot prove it. You have to also remember, the Cladis is not known to the world. So we would have to reveal that, and that would be disastrous. Which we will not do under any circumstance. Finally, mm. someone is speaking like a sane person. The only circumstance in which we would even consider revealing that is if things... If... They truly got completely out of control. They are currently not out of the realm of being contained or dealt with quietly. This is a... It is a better to think of this less as dealing with a cre play creature and more as dealing with a... Hmm a secretive party attempting to manipulate forces around the world for their own ends. Yeah. Like a, like and in that case, secrecy is key in all matters. Secrecy to them and secrecy to us. This is a shadow war, like it or not. I think Wei was saying something but got cut off. It, it's done now. Don't okay. Don't worry about it. It's completely I, passed. I, yeah, I do understand the need to uh, phrase up our defenses and have every person available we can fighting against this, but we are still people at the end of the day. Yes, we are. And I think that seems to have gone over the head of half the people in this room. This is not a war a matter any of us should be involving ourselves in I'm not saying this just to cover my own skin you think I want to have gone through all this trouble to keep all of you alive just to watch you march off to think you could single handedly fight a war against a whole nation or two or three plus brain spiders well 
if we do nothing, the brain spiders win by default. Says who? Besides, you say it's not our business, but I seem to recall that uh, we all did vow to protect the kid here. It's very much his business. The kid, you know, you're talking about the metal, fire-breathing automaton that has kicked this thing's ass way harder than any of us could ever dream to. We need to protect him from it. That's what you're suggesting? We've been doing it this whole time. He needs to protect well, us. We need to protect him. We need to protect him from people like the Dar, people like Murrus, people you seem to be covering for all of a sudden. What are you accusing me of? I don't, I don't know. You seem to be wanting us to protect you from Murrus. That's what I'm thinking. I don't want anything to do with Murrus, okay? Never want anything to do with Murrus. Well, tensions here to appear to have taken a turn. Perhaps we should all take a moment uh, and have ourselves a res some respite and just split up and relax a little. You are free to walk mm. the halls of this place within a reason. There are certain facilities I would ask you to not go into for your own safety as well as the safety of the things that we're keeping here. So, you will button your free to fears of the kitchen, the library, the some of the floors. We have people, if you want to ask questions or get more information or relax, you're free to. Can I use the kitchen to make a pie? Sure. If you cool. will. <laughs> He'll lean toward Elden. Make sure someone watches the pan make some pie, just in case. Yes, sir. I'll, I'll watch it myself. As yeah. people start filing out the door and, and adjourning, the uh, the bird on top of Way's head is gonna just like say out loud, "Wow, how do you think he holds up his armor with no spine?" <laughs> well, he's gonna get up and he's gonna. Shake his head. Say, so, yeah, maybe, maybe some respite's a good idea. We rethink this whole arrangement. And he's gonna walk out of the room. Is everyone gonna yeah, follow done. suit and go about their own business? As we over so. at the others and then look at right auto. Yeah, maybe that's a good idea. But I do think that maybe not, maybe we don't have to deal with the issues of this country, but I do think dealing with the Cladis so that it can't take over our homes is still within our means. Anyone that doesn't believe that is free to walk away, I suppose. But I'm not giving up yet. Pie. Huh? Gazelle's gonna go make pie. Hmm. Yay, pie. Adam's gonna go find that uh, that training area that they were passing by earlier. Otto's gonna follow after Lyle. Tori's gonna lean forward on the up to the table and she's going to grab the mask, but she's also going to grab the dagger. Okie dokie. And then she's going to follow after Otto. Mm. I guess I'll follow way in at him. Alright. Do we uh, want to call it here? It's getting kind of late for me. Yeah, I think so. 
I would like to keep going, but if nobody else, if you guys don't have it in you, then... It is late. Yeah, I was moving to wrap it up. I need to go to bed. Yeah, all right. Because I'll buzz with pie. There's a... Now... Yeah. And... There's a... Yeah. Uh... UA... Stays behind. And speaks with... Um... Uh, I... Did I some Natul for a minute? And we'll follow Otto later, but he she will remain and have a conversation that I'm not going to divulge. Oh. Okay. But as tensions are high and allegiances are considered and what you intend to do next is thought about, we're going to wrap it up here as you peruse the halls of the last tower. Yay. Which is in a crater and is mostly underground, so not really a tower. Unless you think of it backwards. <laughs> Inverted <laughs> tower going underground. Inverted tower! As much of a tower as Vulcan Tower was. Correct. Yeah. Alright. Just the hive from the Resident Evil movie. Yeah. <laughs> it's the thing in the meme thread that someone posted. Yeah. Zombie bunker. It's the zombie bunker, yeah. Okay, well that's gonna be it for tonight, everybody. Uh, did you overcome an overflow? foe? No. Did you gain more information about the world? Yes. Did you change a location? No. One XP for everybody. Yay. 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 Uh, and then the rest I leave all to you. Uh, so let's go ahead and end the recording. Okay. Bye YouTube. Bye, YouTube. Fuck you, YouTube. Wow. Wow. Hey. Bye YouTube. Bye. Oh fuck yourselves. Hi. Buddy. Buddy.